All right, hey, what is up, guys? So, I actually kind of lied to you the other day. I told you that I was gonna start the vlogs again today, um, which is true, but the problem is, is I got the timeline messed up. Let me show you. Okay, so, this is my chart. This here, that's today, this was yesterday, and this is tomorrow. Now this was my problem. So yesterday, I made my 400 subscriber special, more or less video, you know, talking about, you know, thanking everyone for the 400 subscribers and my first Patreon. Well, that was yesterday. I filmed and made that video yesterday. So, so that was yesterday. Now, I said I was going to make a vlog today. So that's true. I am filming filming a vlog today, but if I film a vlog today, it's not going to be uploaded until tomorrow where I can where I can upload it and then I can film another vlog that day. So because I already got a day behind, if I make so if I film a vlog today, by the time I upload it, it's either going to be the end of the day or it's going to be tomorrow. So I, I am filming a vlog today, but I won't be able to upload a vlog today because I didn't film yesterday, so there's no video for today because the video I filmed yesterday, I uploaded yesterday. So there won't be a video today, and so then there, um, well, I mean, there's gonna be this video, but there won't be a vlog, so I can't really. Um, I did some stuff last night, and that's why it's the middle of the day and I haven't updated you guys yet, so that's, that's why this is gonna be it, but I still wanted to make a video today. I just couldn't make a vlog because if I did, it's gonna not make sense tomorrow. I don't know. I, I want to have a video tomorrow. If I make a video today, I won't have a video tomorrow unless it's going to be like this. So at some point, I'm either going to have to not make a video or I'm just going to have to make one of these quickies that I've been doing where it's just me ch talking to you guys, which I actually have grown quite, quite fond of. So today I did actually want to talk about something specific. I figure if I'm going to be talking, I might as well start talking about something more detailed. So here's the thing. Oh, wait. Forget this. We're gonna do a Q&A today. Why not? I mean, what's today? Wednesday? What if Wednesday was our Q&A day? That'd be good. Let's do Wednesday, every Wednesday's Q&A. So, okay. All right, here we go. Wednesday Q&A. Let's do this. I don't know if I made my a and a, the and, that's a weird and, it looks like an A. Anyway, Wednesday Q&A. Okay, let's do this. Questions and answers. Okay, so this isn't actually a question, but this was cracking me up yesterday. So I made a video a long time ago, actually, like last year. Uh, um, where my aunt and uncle came to visit and me and my aunt went to the Silver Grizzly Cafe. Well, somebody commented, how has nobody said this, dot, 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 ant equal hot. So just wanted to let you know, um, thank you. Um, my uncle thought so too. So someone said, my advice is to focus on the Jeep's mechanical condition first while you have the garage to work in. Cosmetic features like insulation can be added easily along the trip. Okay, now, I think that's actually very true. I just wanted to address this because um, I've been getting a lot of comments like this actually. So yes, cosmetic things can be addressed on the road, but so can, um, so can mechanical. So the thing is, is I think insulation, like trying to figure out how to insulate the Jeep and stuff, since I don't really know how to do that, is a lot easier while I have it now. And like, I, I understand what you're saying, you know, it's a lot better to do the mechanical stuff. The thing is, is I've actually done pretty much everything mechanical to the Jeep. I've had the Jeep for like two years and I've done, I mean, I've changed everything that could possibly be changed on the Jeep aside from rebuilding the engine. I just rebuilt and installed an AX15 that's completely brand new. Both the drive shafts, they're not even a year old. I have a rear rough country, which I wouldn't suggest. The front is an Adams drive shaft, a heavy duty one. That one's set up really good. Um, I've greased everything not that long ago. Everything's been greased. I've gone over everything, just double check. I have checked all the fluids. Um, I know that's a big thing people are telling me. Make sure you check the fluids and stuff. Now there are a couple things I would like to double check on, make sure everything's good. The brakes, brakes are good. Brakes are great actually. The only thing that can make them better is if they, um, had rear discs other than that they're fantastic i actually just replaced the rotors not that long ago because they were getting a little old and brittle um the brake pads are fairly are fairly new everything on the jeep mechanically the jeep is great there's only a couple things i've run into recently that i'm not sure what they are yet but i'm going to get on top of those someone said i should get myself a haynes manual i have the shiplin manual this actually came with the jeep when i got it i do use it from time to time I don't know what the difference is between this and Hanes. I've heard people say that one's better than the other. I really don't know, but I figure this will work good enough for me. Not to mention I have YouTube. Power of YouTube fixes everything. All right, somebody asked, um, somebody, actually a lot of you have actually said, I guess you know Jake. Um, I know who Jake is, uh, Jake Watering. If you see my video, you know I actually, um, a lot of this is inspired by him, 
but I don't personally know him. I've never met him. I have never even got to go to a meetup. I hope to meet him one day, but I've never actually met him. So I just wanted to throw that out. What states first on the road trip? Okay, that's actually a really good question. So first off, I'm planning before I start my road trip. I mean this, or kind of as I start my road trip, the plan is to go to Oklahoma. I want to go to Oklahoma to um, see Lauren. I never got to go to her funeral. So I would like to go up there and see her before I do anything else. So the plan is to drive up there, but right after that, I don't plan on staying in Oklahoma very long. I plan on right after that, I'm gonna go down to Midland. I have friends and family in Midland, Texas. So I'm going down to Midland, Texas after that. From there, the plan is to go to New Mexico. Um, I'm gonna hang around New Mexico for a while. I do wanna do some exploring around there. So I'll probably reside in New Mexico for a while. After I go to New Mexico, of course, I'm going to Arizona. And I'm, I haven't completely planned it out yet. I'm probably going to plan it out when I get closer to it because I know for a fact I want to go to Colorado. I'm just not sure if... The thing is, is I really want to go to a lot of places, but I'm going to try to stay around family and friends. So I actually have um, family in New Mexico and then I'm going to go to California. I have some family in California. I want to stay close to family and friends before um, I venture off too far because on the off chance that something does happen, Maybe I need to get work or something or you know, something happens to the Jeep. I would like to know that I'm not going to be completely stranded and living completely homeless with a, no gas or anything. So I'm going to try to do that first before I completely venture off. Now, once I start getting a community um, put together and stuff, I will start to go off farther. But the plan right now is to mostly stay in that area around California and stuff, travel through there, hopefully head up to Washington. And then I'm either going to circle around or maybe go back down and loop. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, I guess I'll just figure it out while I'm there. But the plan is first, Oklahoma, go down to Midland, Texas, New Mexico, and then just kind of ride the border up from there. And then we'll see from there. Or right, somebody said I should check my transmission fluid. Um, I just installed the brand new transmission. The fluid is not even uh, two months old. So the fluid should be good, but I will check it again. I have checked it twice since I changed it just to make sure, you know, after the gears are moving. But it's a brand new transmission, completely rebuilt. So it should be good. Okay. This is actually the, there is actually one person who actually decided to ask questions up front. And so this is really cool. These are actually real questions. Okay. So this guy, Austin asks, I've got more questions for the future Q&A. Do you have a winch? I do not. I am looking into getting it, but I've heard that Max Tracks, those like plastic things are actually better for if you just, you know, have nothing else. I'm considering getting those instead. It's on the plan. I plan on getting one hopefully before I do anything too crazy because I don't want to get stuck in a situation. Currently, no. Currently, I don't have one though. Have you considered a kill switch? Um, I actually have. I've considered a few things like it. I also considered a safety switch or a security switch. The Because I've done the standard swap, the neutral safety switch still needs grounded. So I was thinking if I could actually hook up a wire switch. So I thought about actually wiring a switch up to the neutral safety switch so you can't turn it on without switching that. Um, I'm still thinking about it. I haven't really got around to it right now. I just have the wire grounded so I can start the vehicle and run it. But uh, I am considering other options. Um, last question he has for me is, would I consider doing an off-road meetup this summer? I would actually love to do that. I think it'd be awesome if we could get, you know, everybody, all these off-road vehicles and stuff to just get them all together, all these overlanders, jeepers and stuff, get them everybody together and just go on a trail or something. I think that'd be really cool. I've never actually got to do that. I don't know when it's going to happen or where it's going to happen, um, but I figure when I get to each state and we'll go from there. We'll see. I think it'd be really cool to build up a community of people who watch my channel and with similar interest and get to meet people. That'd be fantastic. I hope to do that one day. But um, I, it's kind of just one step at a time at this point. Here's a good question. How many miles are on my Jeep? And what kind of oil do you use? Um, I usually use Mobile One. I think I use 5 watt 30. Or maybe it's 5 watt 40. I don't remember. I think I changed it the other day. I think that the factory calls for 5 watt 30. But I think um, not that long ago, I think I put in 5 watt 40 in the engine and it seemed to run pretty good. But I usually strictly use Mobile One. Sometimes I use Vavilin. But for the most part, from what I can tell, the Mobile One is the best one. So that, that's the one I end up using most of the time. High mileage Mobile One. I think the Jeep right now has 143,000 miles on it or 142,000. I bought it when it had about 130,000, I think even, or maybe 132. So I put about 10,000 miles on it since I got it. So that's pretty cool. All right. Someone else, someone else asks, have you thought about painting your Jeep with Linex? I don't know what that is. I'm not finding anything on Line X. No, I haven't considered it, and no, I actually apparently don't know what it is. And that is all the questions I have. Be 
because that's all the comments. So yeah, I'm going to try to do this like once a week, Wednesday Q&A. If anyone has any questions, ask them down below next Wednesday, another Wednesday, 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 Wednesday Q&A. Ask me a question down below if you're curious about anything about the Jeep or my personal life or whatever, and I will try to answer it the best I can every Wednesday. Have a good day, guys.